Okay, um, what do I do next? Farming? Events require your attention. The ring will advise you. I know this! Pick any response. There's no response to pick. <sighs> the pigs need 23 hides. Uh, the... They need 64 herders to tend them. Food's okay. Don't have anything to add. We should stock more food. We ah, she her with the numbers again. Not even gonna read it. We could handle another 33 hides. I have no advice. So the consensus is we need more stuff. Um, I don't want to kill. I don't ever want to kill a cow. I wonder if that's something I can do. Okay, um, well I guess we should make a decision based on this. Bless crops. Oh, these are, okay, these are my active blessings. We need more farmers. How many farmers do we have now? Not seeing it. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, we have 409 and are strong in oxen. So I meet her criteria. So what she said was worthless and wasted time. Uh, can I kill her? Can I take her out? She's 60. We, she, I think she has to go. Um, takes 230. Oh, they have different opinions? No, 238 to 10 to all 105. We could handle another 33 hides. Hides. We should try to stock more food. Oh, hides of wildland, wild land. I don't know. I don't know. Um, we can up the past. Oh, that bumps up my wildland. No, I'm adding pastures, so I'm losing wildlands. Yeah, we could handle another thirty-three. Okay, cattle and sheep in pastures, pigs in wildlands. The pigs need... I don't know if we want to mess with any of this stuff. I guess we'll do two more of those. Magic. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Click his picture to see why. He's back. That like I don't think that tool chip should be there anymore. Okay, um, this is magic. My deity. We reserve our ancestors. We revere our ancestors all the way back to those who so bravely, bravely survived the great darkness. We haven't. This guy is dead set on Orlanth. Uh, I did one mystery, so do I sacrifice something? The gods make me nervous. I like that guy. Custom re requires that we have at least a shrine to Lankor. Clan magic is poor. To maintain our temples, we're currently devoting 8 cows and 16 goods to the gods. Improve our lucky battle if we build a shrine. So this guy wants a sacrifice or a shrine sacrifice to Hamakt. Uh, this guy wants Lankor Mai and Orlanth. Hmm. Well, that has a symbol next to it, so that has to be good, right? Uh, our principal deity. He led the seven light bringers to renew the world. He made the first clans and the first justice. Pray for rain? Uh, sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's sack. That was a weird noise. Um, part of a clan, yep, so sacrificing is liable to be successful. These guys are just saying the same shit. Okay, so we're gonna sac 
Wait. Sacrificing for mysteries. That's what we should do. I'll trust, uh, Lycan. Um, I got 15 cows, so let's sacrifice five, I guess? We learned some of mysteries of the making of the Storm Tribe. Oh boy. Another crisis. Choices here. Impact dealing with two other clans. And the mood of your own. Ignore your advisors. And insist that... Ignore your advisors and insist that Coral marry her. Do I follow the tooltips, is the question. I don't know. I like how there's like ogre titties on my, like, right here. <laughs> okay. Um, everyone is gossiping about what happened a few hours ago. The young woman was found in the forest making love with Coral. Is that where they got the kid from The Walking Dead? A notorious poet and troublemaking warrior of the Heron clan. He left without a formal farewell. She's unmarried, so her actions are not an offense against the gods, but she is betrothed to Jorder, a young thane, and the wedding is scheduled for next season. She, yeah, she's kind of slutty. Um, ignore your advisors and insist that she marry her, that Coral marry her. I like Coral. Uh, his clan is on the cusp of a feud with us? She's done nothing wrong. It would be absurd to marry her to him. <laughs> that means time for... And you should have seen my coworker's face when you said ogre titties. <laughs> oh god, you had the sound. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ogre titties. This is the kind of show that we're watching here. Yep. <laughs> I am sorry. Yep. Okay, um, insist that he marry her, and the betrothal, let the marriage proceed as if nothing has happened. Tell him. Tell him, but say, go... Insist that... I'm gonna follow this, I guess. Uh, insist that he marry her. Matters not yet resolved before raiding the clan. The Harani. Find out more about them by clicking them in the clan list below. The Harani... I gotta scroll. Harani... Not a clan. I, I meant not to eat the whole cake, but merely to sample the dough. Oh, man. One desk neighbor was interested, so I had it off my split screen so they could watch and listen. It was strange to look at the sound of <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I meant not to eat the whole cake, but merely to sample their outrage. Raid the Heron Clan in retaliation for their insult, even though it is sea season, or let the matter rest. I don't think I want to raid someone right away, do I? Before raiding it, find out more about them. Is this supposed to be a big list? The Harani! Is it H E R? I'm guessing it's this. Aaron with an N. At least you're not allied with them. Choose to launch a retaliatory raid. Alright, fuck them. Raid them. Raid it for their insult, even though it is sea season. I will keep sampling that dough, good sir. <laughs> Sample that dough. Decide who goes in the raid. Footmen, who are quite capable of fighting. Weapon Thanes, 
I did just hire two more weapon things. And women auxiliaries who heal and encourage. That is so sexist and hilarious. Wow. Um, nine weapon. Oh, so this must be my max. Um, do we need that much healing? Can I get away with that? We were spotted by them. And our eight weapon things and 86 foes. Oh shit. We're facing 10 and 135. Oh god, am I gonna die right away? Um. Click the plus to allocate one point of magic. By not making sex, you can char charge the enemy before they're ready. Oh god. Well, even what they defaulted me to, I wouldn't have won. I mean, I wouldn't have more. Maybe they're just stupid, I don't know. Uh, I want to plunder, kill as many as possible, seize their land. Charged right into the trap we had laid for them, but they fought their way clear. There was a brief battle we were driven off and had no opportunity to obtain booty. <sighs> Through their healing magics, our auxiliaries kept one warrior from dying and bandaged three of the wounded. Okay. I thought it would have been way worse. So, six of ours are wounded. One killed. One wounded. We killed? Ah, oh, that's better for, better for us. See how the clan takes the news. I'm almost done eating these, I'm sorry. Very good. And the music died. We lamented the lecherous Carl's clan was not humble, but we were glad that at least they had not meekly swallowed the offense. Some of the Carl's muttered wor wor worriedly about the crops for the upcoming year. Done. Okay. Even if no weapon things were killed or injured, it can't hurt to strengthen your fighting forces. Okay. As long as we get more dough, man. Or weapon things. Choose the max. All right. Yeah. Da -na 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 -na. During sacred time, we allotted none of our clan magic to battle. Switch to the lower screen, which provides you information about the world. Okay. You don't need to know all this right now, but to win the game, be familiar with the myths. S holy shit. Sacrifice the appropriate deity to learn their details. These will help when you reenact the myth as a hero quest. A hero quest duplicates the feeds of the gods to gain magical benefits. I don't know what I just read. <laughs> when you, these will help when you reenact the myth as a hero quest. A hero quest duplicates the feeds. Okay. You have to sack something to learn their details. Click on the sword story. Whoa, it opens up. Oh shit, you guys can't see that. Uh, I will read it. It's a steam pop up. That's really janky. <coughs> sword story. A pathetic fellow called Ermal <laughs> finds a new weapon called Death and uses it to slay Grandfather Mortal. He shows it to Orlan's brother, Humacht, who takes it from him. Despite Humacht's attempts to control it, use of the weapon spreads, and soon killing becomes commonplace. Holy shit, am I going to read this whole thing? There's no way. Alright, I'll read. This is the end of it. Okay. In the old days, there was no death or violence. There was simply no need for it. 
there was uh, more than enough room for everything to grow without limit, and everything did. Boreo was born the first time when Earth peeped above the ancient sea. When Arnaldo was grown, there was the Green Age. When she had enough golden grain to hoard, there was the Golden Age. Uh, when people had not enough food, they began to fight over it. Then, the goddess invented gold and tried to use it to pacify her people. It only gave them more gave them more to be greedy for. Greed became so great that even the gods were infected, especially Yelm, who wanted all the gold for himself. Fighting broke out among the gods, uh, first for greed, later for revenge, anger and hatred. This is called the God's War. Yada yada yada, there's a god named this. He was less than a stick picker. That is an insult. Uh, because he had no kin, no friends, and no place to live. He had no ring. Uh, he wished to impress his betters. He began hiding in a dark place during the God's War, and he saw something he had not seen before, so he took it. He went to the first person he saw. He asked the grandfather that he saw if he wanted to try out this new thing. Grandfather would have refused, but he passed up chances before. He was sorry he had lost those powers uh, that he passed up before, so he agreed to try out the new find. Um, so, And this was grandfather, so grandfather became grandfather mortal when he died. He was the first person to ever die because of and because of that, all us descendants must die. Almost done with this, holy shit. Uh, went to Humak to show him the death thing. The death thing, it says that. Humak was a god, and he did not have any mis misunderstanding about it. He used it first to sever his ties from his king, and so he absolved his king for the heinous deeds which he, the god of death, would do after that. Orlanth was so moved that he has always respected Humak for his honor and fierce code, and gives him a place on the ring even though he's a foreigner. When Orna Orlanth saw the new thing wielded by Humak, he wanted to use it in one of his conquests. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, he took it to the weapon contest. Yelm loosed his far-flying arrows. Then Orlanth wielded death in the shape of a sword, so the Emperor was the first god to die. Howling, the Emperor fled uh, and hid away in the Underworld. <clears throat> um, one day he scolded him because he tricked him with a copy of the sword. Uh, da, 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 da. For a laugh, Amuriel tripped a warlord elf. Ha! And the weapon fell out of his hands into the hands of an Iron Man, a dwarf hero. He then cut down the elves. Uh, just a lot of greed. And finally, last paragraph. <sighs> when Orlanth and the Lightbringers reached the edge of the world, they had to enter into the underworld to continue their travel. At that place where sky, earth, and sea met, meet, Orlanth gave up his possession and attachment to death, and he named Humak to be the honorable wielder of it. In this way, Orlanth gained entry into the land of the dead, and with that judgment, Humak gained control of death once again. Wow. Wow. Okay, that was a very long tale. Um, 